right, hey y'all, happy Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day, evening, night, whenever, whatever you're watching the vlog. My name is Dee, and on this channel, I like the vlog, anything and everything about my life. So if you wanna be nosy and see what I got going on over here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to hit the like, so that way you tell the YouTube algorithm that my content is amazing. And also, make sure to comment down below and share and do all that jazz, okay? So, like I said, today is Friday. Uh, we got lots to do today. I am currently at the bank. I'm waiting for these two knuckleheads ahead of me to get their money out. Just like I'm trying to get money out. And then um, we got to shoot over. I probably won't go to uh, Walmart right now. Um, I'll probably wait until after I get the boys because I was hoping that there was nobody in line trying to get money. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pull some money out. And then, um, hold on. Okay. So, yeah, got to pull some money out. Um, hopefully, this person is in and out and then I'll definitely go ahead and shoot over to Walmart I got a Walmart pickup I already did a target pickup this morning I actually cleaned my home today I cleaned the living room and um, my bathroom I just need to do my bedroom and the kitchen um, I cleaned all the rags that I use when I'm cleaning and then I just need to put them in the dryer but yeah I gotta get all these errands done and then um, I'll be back later to talk to y'all bye back at the house and errands are done kids are picked up from school uh Teresa didn't go to school today because um they had some kind of underclassmen testing and she didn't want to sit in the gym gymnasium all day so she was like I'm not going to school today so she's been home all day so I only just had to pick the boys up from school um so yeah um let's chit chat real quick and I got my pizza of course I had to put it with some ranch y'all I cannot wait till I go back to um to um Jersey or um visit New York for the first time I only went to New York one time when I went to um the next game this was back in 20 2004 2005 something like that or maybe it was 2004 somewhere in that nature um or 2005 it was one of them but yeah i went to the next game and pretty much rode the train all the way till we got to um the stadium and then rode the train back so i never got to got a chance to explore new york like that so um but yeah i am dying for their pizzas but anywho um so y'all see in the vlog with um, Angela's birthday. We literally did nothing spring break. Literally did nothing. Monday, it rained all day. So I was down and out. I was stuck in the bed until I had to go to work that evening. Um, Tuesday, I tried to take the boys to the park because they wanted to go to the park. And I took them to two parks. One of the parks was um, where their old school used to be at. I don't know if they're upgrading their equipment for the playground or they just took the playground stuff down. I don't know, honey. Because all it had was um, just the swings and some bootleg rock climbing thing. I don't know. So we leave there, go to another one that is by um, the girls' old middle school. And it looked like a wasp nest like there were so many kids on the little bit of equipment that they had and I was like oh no my children are not fighting to play with equipment because these kids want to be selfish and not share not doing that today so yeah so we had fun going to the park not going to the park 
and um what we do wednesday wednesday um did i take chris to his speech i think i did to chris to his speech and then thursday and friday i can't remember what we did but we really didn't do anything then sunday was um angelo's birthday totally forgot that i said i wanted to take him bowling but i don't know what the heck it was why i forgot like it just slipped my mind and shay had reminded me if we were still going and i'm sitting here like oh snap i totally forgot that i said that i wanted to do that so we didn't do it so speed past that easter weekend literally did not do anything i did not vlog i did not i tried to vlog i think i got some kind of content that day and i was just like i'm not in the mood and so yeah i did not vlog at all um sunday i watched this special on um netflix i can't remember the name of it but i'll put it at the bottom of the screen but it was basically about the story of moses and pharaoh and getting his people out of egypt y'all know that story how the ten commandments was written and so on and so forth but they were basically giving a backstory and having people's opinions and some of their opinions i did not agree with so that was pretty interesting um we didn't do any easter egg hunts we didn't do any um baskets i didn't do anything i literally did not do anything this year for easter i don't know i just feel like the boys don't really care for it the girls are grown so if i was to get them a basket it'll have to be like girly stuff so like masks um clean um facial cleaners um beauty products like you know stuff like that perfume that would be their basket that i would probably make next year um and then the boys all they want is just cars 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 um and then v bucks for angelo so i don't know um it, i tell you this it's definitely different easter um, with boys than it is with girls because with the girls I had them all dressed up in their JCPenney dresses or I think Walmart I had them all matching and cute and the baskets and the eggs and things like that but with my boys it's like it's so hard like I don't I don't see any cute little boy tux or not tux but suits for them to wear you know i don't even see little boy shoes the dress shoes you know what i'm saying so i it's different now like it was crazy because when i had the girls it was nothing but boy stuff and it was a little bit of girl stuff now that i had since i had the boys it's more girl stuff and um a little bit of boys so i'm just like oh my gosh but anywho um told y'all i had to go to walmart so i went to walmart um i got some of these these are the bath cups it's 100 cups so this is for when the kiddos rinse their mouth out with their mouthwash in the morning um i also got the girls more mouthwash um i had them use the purple one because i told y'all a couple vlogs back that the purple listerine no bueno for me so i gave that to them i guess they like it because they've been using it so i got them some more um and then because i'm so irritated with angelo and christian when it comes down to putting lotion on child i don't know if it's their autism because they don't like they don't like putting lotion on because i can't explain it you guys if you have an autistic child then if you know you know like j-lo says <laughs> ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink if you know you know but anywho um so i got this johnson's uh shea and cocoa butter oil gel so i'm gonna have them put this on when they're um getting out the shower while they're still wet and rub this in hopefully it's a better texture i don't know um and then put lotion on 
as extra moisturization because Angelo has really, really, really dry skin. Luckily, it hasn't gotten to the point where he has eczema, but it's just really, 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 really dry. And I don't need his skin to be really, really dry like that. So I'm gonna test this out. I got a small bottle. I wanted to get the, the aloe one. It was a green color one. It was aloe, aloe gel. So I wanted to try that, but of course they didn't have it. So, and then I wanted to get a bottle myself, but for some reason they didn't have any more. I'm like, who the hell would use a baby oil? So what I was going to do is because I got the Taraji P. Henson um, pump lotion. I hate the nozzle because it only gives you like a dollop size. So I have to literally pump like 10 pumps just to get the amount that I need. Cause y'all know I'm a juicy girl, okay? So I don't need no petite size pumps for my for my lotion, for me. So I seen my girl Carla, what she did was she had some um, baby oil and her lotion and she mixed it up and put it on her body. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think to do that. So I wanted to try that, but obviously I can't. But um. Yeah, so I got that for the boys. This is what they're going to use. And I also got this Lubiderm Dermatologist Developed Advanced Therapy Body Wash. Itchy, dry skin, fragrance-free, skin nourishing formula, pro ceramide. So I wanted to get this for Christian because he does have eczema. So his eczema is coming back with a vengeance. And... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have him bathed with this and then put this on once he's done. And then lotion, which is the Suave Cocoa Butter, I think that's what I have them use. And then um, they should be extra, extra, extra moisturized till the next business day. Because <laughs> let me tell you something, I, like that irks me. I just, I need you to put lotion on. I need you to put lotion on, please. Um, I don't know if it's just a boy thing. I don't know if it's an autistic thing because their dad doesn't even like putting lotion on. So, um, yeah. And then I got my package from Amazon. Oh, this is just office stuff, but I'm not going to open it on um, camera because it's actually something for later on down the road. More details in the near future. But yeah, it's just office stuff. Um, I need to put in another Amazon for next week for me to get something else. And then I should be good until June. And that's literally when it's getting close to the wire, when I need to get everything done and completed. So yeah, that's, when, that's what's been happening behind the scenes. All I've been doing is working trying to get some rest and not doing much and keeping myself from getting burnt out so yeah today we are going to clay county fair um if you're not familiar with that fair it is just like any other fair it's um it's got animals where you can feed them um of course the fair food that's the main reason why we we as adults want to go we want to go for the food honey um but we're gonna um take the boys i don't know what they like and what they don't like because we haven't done anything like that since they went to the bootleg fair or carnival or whatever at the avenues mall and let me tell you something baby boy was not feeling it so i didn't go because i think i was sick I don't know. I didn't go. I didn't go for some reason. So it was just, I think, Shay, D, and the boys. And I think Shay, uh, Tracy stayed with me. Um, but yeah, baby boy was not having it. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be fun. Um, haven't been there in years. Like, I think I told y'all. I don't know if I did tell y'all, but we haven't been there since the boys were little. Um, we took the girls there years ago. And I mean, literally, like, they were literally babies. One was a toddler, one was a baby. Um, so, yeah, so 
it's my first time going in so many years so I know it's gonna be packed yesterday was the first day and today is like the official kickoff of the um, the fair and they actually had a deal where entry was ten dollars and then the armbands where you just ride all the rides was twenty dollars um, versus if you were to have purchased your tickets yesterday and and you know until they close I think they're twenty dollars to get in and then thirty dollars for the wristband so yeah whenever I can save a coin I'm gonna save a coin um, so I paid for the tickets that Wednesday yeah that Wednesday because the third was on a Wednesday so yeah man so we're gonna go to the fair tonight when D gets off from work um, I thought he was gonna do PTO but I guess not um, I guess he's just gonna ride it out until he gets off from work and then we'll leave from here to the fair and it's gonna take us some time I forgot how long it takes us to get there from here to there um, yeah man not really excited to go because I know it's gonna be a lot of people and I'm just not you know I'm that meme where they're like why are people peopling like why aren't you home <laughs> why why are you out but yeah Oh, and the eclipse is Monday. None of the kids are going to school. Well, Shay doesn't have to go to school because she doesn't have any class that day. But um, three other ones, yeah, they're staying home. And it was cool because um, the boys' school even had a like permission slip for them to be excused for not coming to school that day because it's supposed to affect, I guess, Florida at like between 1:30 and 3:30. So that's pretty much the times when both Tracy and the boys get out of school. So um, I've never seen an eclipse, at least I don't think, I don't remember, I don't recall, I don't think I was ever out. So I don't think I'll be out this time. So we're all just gonna be cooped up in the house and staying to ourselves and riding it out. In the previous clip, I just remembered, y'all that gas station was crazy that gas station was crazy i was trying to put gas in the car before having to leave um but we're probably just gonna have to get it when we get on the road to get there because that line was ridiculous like what y'all bugging but yeah and then tomorrow is just regular work day grocery shopping so yeah y'all let me go ahead and go let me eat up my pizza let me put their stuff away um and then i'm gonna open this package i use my canon camera my canon t8i it's a dslr um call it coco okay um i like to name my electronics because i'm i'm a nerd like that but um but yeah I'm seeing all of y'all getting the Osmo Pocket 3. I'm loving it. Yeah, let me go ahead and do this quick unboxing of what I got for office stuff. And then, um, actually, I'm going to eat first, then I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, and I'm back to watching Billions. If y'all have Paramount and y'all like, like Wall Street crime stuff, um, definitely watch Billions. That show is dope um i didn't understand it when it first like a lot of the shows that i'm watching now like i'm re-watching i don't know why i was watching it when i watched it when it came out because i never understood it now that i am in a time of my life now i'm starting to understand what everything is happening like i was so lost trying to watch that show like only i think i only watched the first season and then a little bit, little bit of the second season. Right now, I'm in the second season, and this show is amazing. So, I I like it. So, if you have Paramount, Paramount, definitely go ahead and um, check that out. 
if you're into stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and go because I'm getting brain freeze. Charge up my pocket and then um, I'll meet y'all guys on the road going to Clay County. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. We had a time last night, okay? We had a time last night. As you can see behind me, I still ain't opened up yesterday's package, but it is what it is because crazy. So yeah, today is Saturday, the day after the um, fair fair shindig and the boys had an amazing time um we were definitely worried because chris is like i, I don't think i told y'all i might have but i can't remember but chris is an introvert a true introvert i mean let me tell you that bit. he could be he could be outgoing to a certain extent and then he's ready to go home that's how he was before last night. We were worried that we would get to the park. Well, I don't even say park. We'd get to the fairgrounds. And, you know, he'd ride on a couple rides and blah, blah, blah. But then eventually he would be like, time to go. Time to go, mommy. Can we go home, mommy? Like, he would just continue to keep saying he was ready to go home. No, my baby had a ball. We literally got there, I think, about 6 o'clock. And we left at 8.30. So we rode rides for about two hours. We ate. The fair food sucked.
Okay, I had to take a reset because that was just infuriating. Like, how are you going to call and get mad because you got a final bill and I'm trying to help you and you want to play your privilege card um, on what you're not going to pay and what you won't do and what we should do and like everything is in your contract. We send you letters. We send you brochures. We send you all of that. You didn't take the inspection option before returning. <laughs> so. And now come to find out we don't have no daggone manager. So. Yeah. Anywho, we're going to talk about Saturday. Because clearly. The devil is just in his feelings today because we had such a good day yesterday and he wants to try to ruin my day today, which that ain't happening, Jack. Um, but yeah, so yesterday was fun. We left at about 830 ish because we went and um, took the boys to the bathroom before we left, which thank God we did. Because, okay, for those of y'all who are not in Jacksonville, right, which majority of y'all aren't, right, there, there are two bridges, right? One is the Buckman Bridge, which takes you to the west side from the south side. And then you got, I think, is it the, called the Fuller Warren Bridge for 95? And then we have tons of other bridges. Um, got the Dames Point Bridge, all that, whatever. So I live on the south side of Jacksonville, right? So if I need to go downtown, I have to get on 95 North. If I want to go to the west side, I have to get on 295. And 295 will take you to the west side. Okay, so I'm back. I just keep getting interrupted. Like... Why are y'all calling people on a Saturday? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so we had a good time. Um, where did I leave off at? Oh, luckily we um, had the boys go to the bathroom before we left because there was an accident on the Buckman, which like I said, it takes us from the west side to the south side. Um, think the car was on fire I don't know what Osiris is on but clearly he's on some negativity as well but anywho I think there was a car that was on fire and on the Buckman I believe there's four lanes on that bridge and so it literally went from four lanes to having to be one lane um, so yeah, everybody was over here trying to merge, get over, and child, as soon as we got past wherever that car was on fire at, everybody was on go. Like, everybody. Like, it was like, it was some kind of memo that I missed that you need to be going 90 or 100. I'm just like, what is going on? Am I just getting old? Because that's just wild. And I had kids in the car. Like, I didn't understand that. That was so weird. But by the time we got home, I think it was 10 o'clock. <laughs> it was 10 o'clock by the time we got home. Um, the boys showered and played on their games for a little bit and then they went to bed child I don't even know when I went to bed all I know is that when I woke up this morning I felt like I had a night at the club last night <laughs> ah, if you know you know but um yeah I'm just like what in the world? Why did my back was hurting? I had to do a little yoga in the bed to stretch her out. Like, what is going on? But um, 
yeah man like I just didn't get that and then as we were driving there there was traffic so there was traffic going to where we need to go and there was traffic coming back I'm just sitting here like yo this is why we don't come to the west side and there's a whole bunch of restaurants that we want to go to on the west side but we're just like is it even worth it because I don't want to do it <laughs> I just don't want to do it like I can't I can't um so yeah two calls in today both buttholes <laughs> show but anywho but the tea that I'm drinking is um kombucha was it kombucha green tea? I think that's what I'm drinking. So I'm feeling a lot more alert. <laughs> um, it is cold now, but it's good. Um, if you're not a tea drinker, just put some honey in it because I wasn't a tea drinker. I was used to always putting sugar in there, not using sugar anymore. I just use straight honey and chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. I'll show y'all the tea that I drank because it is really good. It's not bad. Um, it's it's really good. Um, I don't know if it's just that brand, but I seen all the girlies are drinking kombucha, so I was like, well, let me see what the girlies are doing, what they talking about. So I found some. But he also had green tea in it. I was like, okay, cool, yeah. Two for the price of one. Good. So, yeah, man. Had a blast. Oh, and then the people who, when we finally got out of that traffic of um, going to where we need to go to, um, they like weaving in and out of traffic. I felt like I was on Fast and Furious. I'm just like, what we doing? And these are not even like cars that you expect to be doing it. These were old raggedy cars, older model cars. Like maybe a few of them were like around this this era era, like within five years or whatever. Maybe seven, maybe ten. I don't know, but. Yeah, you got cars that were probably like in the 90s, early 2000s. Like, where the hell are y'all going to where y'all need to feel like y'all need to be rushing? Only thing I could think of <laughs> is you had to go to the bathroom. That's the only thing I could think of because ain't no way in hell I'm going to risk getting a ticket just because I want to speed. Now, I'll speed, but I'll do about five miles over. But when I'm over in, oh, for those of y'all who are not from here, Clay County, they don't play that mess. So, especially when you're, they don't play that mess. So, you better be driving both hands and at the speed limit. That's all I got to say. Because I don't want that smoke. JSO, mm, they a little, mm, depending on what side of town you want. But um, yeah, Clay County, that's why I like going out to the Clay County Fair. Boy, they had them boys in them, that gear, rolling five, six, seven deep. Okay, ain't nothing about to pop off tonight. Try it if you want to. Try it if you want to. Because it's not going to happen <laughs> on their watch. <laughs> nope. But yeah. Let me go ahead and go because I've been talking my ear off with you guys. Hey y'all. Happy Monday. I just wanted to come on here and close this vlog out because for one um I didn't close it out 
Saturday, I was supposed to take my pom pom. I was supposed to take my pocket Saturday when we went grocery shopping because I wanted to give y'all more in depth um, of a shopping experience on what me and my husband do while shopping um, for groceries. But I forgot the gimbal, so yeah, that's gonna have to be another time. Um, and then I wanted to uh, clean the boys closet out that didn't happen because I told hubby that I wanted to um, go clothing shopping so we didn't do that either <laughs> um, so basically we just stayed in the house Sunday um, we got the steak egg and cheese bagels from McDonald's and I don't know I don't know what they did to it but it it wasn't I mean it was good but it wasn't I don't know maybe because I haven't had it in so long it doesn't taste like it used to I don't know but it was okay got that out of my system I don't think I'll be going back to getting it anymore anytime soon um so yeah, that's all, that's all we pretty much did. Um, for Sunday dinner, we had um, baked chicken legs, baked barbecue chicken legs, um, with jasmine rice, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes. Um, not only because the boys they don't they don't like rice like that, unless it's hibachi rice apparently, because now they eat hibachi rice. Um, so I think they have mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. So, you know, everything else was for us to eat. Um, I got tired of buying vegetables because for one, it gets wasted because nobody likes to eat them. It seems like I'm the only one who likes to eat the vegetables. Um, I mean, the girls do like it, but I think they're, they're over it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I haven't been buying vegetables. I need to get back to buying them again. Um, so that way the boys can start eating vegetables um, what else today is the eclipse so the kids are not in school um, the boys school actually gave out permission slips for parents who want to keep their kids in school or who want to pick them up early or just not going to have them in school at all so I selected them not to be in school at all so they're not in school I was gonna let Tracy go to school today but I realized that the time that she gets out is when the eclipse is supposed to hit so I don't know if it's gonna affect anything so I don't want to be out and about driving and um yeah we're not doing that and I don't want her walking out of the school trying to walk to the car so we can go home so yeah so she's home Tracy doesn't have Tracy Shay doesn't have any classes um, today um, so yeah so everything worked out just fine so it's just like another holiday type situation that's going on um, with the kiddos I'm still working today I wanted to call out this morning because I really don't feel like working in the morning shift I probably would have been like I don't feel like working the evening shift but days like this I have to just push myself to be like girl go to work save them days for days that you really need to call out you know what I'm saying so um yeah that's pretty much what is going on today um Shay has a doctor's appointment this Thursday I don't know if that's for her primary care physician or another doctor. She just put a doctor's appointment on the calendar. And then Tracy has her dermal appointment this Friday at 1.30. So I got to pick her up early um, and then get her over there and then back over to our side of town. So that way I could pick the boys up from school. Um, Oh, I wanted to show y'all the tea. So this is the green tea kombucha. It's pretty good. I like it. It says supports overall health with green tea kombucha. 
This delicious blend of green tea with dried kombucha supplies antioxidants to support your overall health. Spearmint and lemongrass along with plum and passion fruit flavors harmonize for a light fruity flavor. Enjoy a bright and delightful cup of green tea kombucha. So yeah, man. I There's like 16 of them in here. I wish there was a bigger box because this is really good. Like definitely screenshot it. And I believe it's in Walmart. I think that's where I got it. But yeah, screenshot that and then let me know what y'all think when y'all get it. Because like I said, it's really good. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready for work or for work. Because I'm about to clock in for the day. And then, of course, clock out. And then go back and clock back in. So thank you so much for watching the vlog today i do i do i do appreciate each and every one of y'all and if you're new hi 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 welcome my name is d and i hope you stick around and enjoy some more content from me and i will see you guys on the next vlog bye you guys like this video come on give me up to 200 like like, like, oh, like, 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 like.